Hi everyone, welcome to your yoga practice. This is going to be week six of our six week block. Um, so as you can see, I'm at home. Um, I do have some yoga blocks and a bolster. If you don't have that, please get creative with some pillows, um, some large books or anything that you can think of that can make a little block for yourself. If you want to play some music throughout our practice, you can follow me on Spotify under my own name, Jenny Clark, and you'll see lots of playlists on there. And um, yeah, play one of the, the 60 minute playlists. Our practice today will be about 30 minutes and the theme is comfort. So as we prepare for what is ahead, um, yeah, we're going to use the theme of comfort to guide us through our practice today. So find a comfortable seat that can be on your blocks, on your bolster, knees forward, feet behind you, or you can sit cross-legged, whatever feels best. When you're ready, settle your hands on your thighs, onto baby, or one on baby one over your heart. Close down your eyes. Just let yourself come into your space. If your space doesn't feel settled and set up, maybe pause the video now and give yourself a few minutes just to create a sacred space that is for your practice tonight. That might be closing a door, turning your phone on to do not disturb, whatever you need to do. When you feel settled, just tune into your breath, tune into the sound of your breath, sound of the inhale arriving, the exhale leaving, breathing out through your nose if comfortable. Notice your heartbeat, maybe if one hand is over your heart you can feel that quite strongly, maybe you can sense it in other areas of your body as well. another hand or even both hands are on baby just tune in there listen feel as you breathe have the intention of growing a little longer through your spine creating a bit of comfort, creating a bit of space for a baby, a bit of length in the side of your waist. And as you inhale, feel your, ba your belly, sorry, expanding even more as you exhale, feel a slight drawing in, hugging baby in towards you. And keep going with that breathing pattern. So an inhale to expand, to grow, and the exhale to draw baby in. Keep going with that breathing pattern with the intention of lengthening both parts of the breath, the inhale and the exhale. And then if it feels right for you, you can add in a pelvic floor lift as you exhale, you're drawing baby in towards you. You're also drawing in between the pubic bone at the front and the coccyx bone at the back, drawing in those two points toward one another. And then thinking of an energetic spiral from the base, from your pelvic floor all the way up toward, even thinking of towards your belly button, when you inhale, you can let that go. When you expand on inhale, you relax pelvic floor and you exhale, draw in and up, baby in towards you on exhale.
Okay, release any effort with your breath. Give yourself a full inhale through your nose. A relaxing sigh as you breathe out. And then release your hands and gently blink your eyes open. We're going to start with a gentle rotation through our spine. So left hand's going to stay on your thigh where it is, right hand onto your low back. Have the palm on your low back. Take a breath in for length in the spine and then a breath out, turning gently toward the right. Feel your right shoulder blades draw in and back. Point your right elbow back and think of a proud stance to your chest. Take another breath in, get longer in the spine. A nice soft breath out. And then unwind and go straight to the other side. Right hand onto thigh, left hand to low back, breathe in, rise up. And then breathe out and turn toward the left. Feel left shoulder blade drawing in and back. Feel it supporting your upper spine. Feel it supporting your chest, supporting your heart. Elbow pointing back to open your chest. In pregnancy yoga, we don't need to twist too much. Of course, any closed twists can close off space for babies. A nice open twist can still feel a little rotation through your spine, staying open in your body. Okay, unwind. Shoulders, take them all the way up. Go back really slow and squeeze your shoulder blades together and then drag down and do that two more times. So you can bend your elbows, really point them back and maybe your forearms can do some work as well as you squeeze, drag, one more. Good, okay. Listen off the shoulders, listen off your neck if you need it. And then take your time to come off of your support, whatever that is for you. Make your way onto your hands and knees. Sit up with your hands underneath your shoulders, your knees underneath your hips. And we're going to take a little bit of weight side to side. So imagining your shoulders are traveling across your mat, side to side, moving a little bit of weight across your wrists into the knuckles, notice what your finger and finger pads, fingertips are doing. You can keep going side to side or you can do some circles. So think of your shoulders leading the way, leading the circle. Your hips will follow. And those circles can be as big or as small as feels good for you. Change direction. And it doesn't need to be an exact circle. Let it be a, like a child drawing a circle. It can be whatever you make it. Okay. Come back to stillness in the centre. Take a big breath in. Lengthen your spine. Draw the crown of your head forward and your tailbone back. As you exhale, curl your spine. Drop your chin toward your chest. Let your head go. Draw baby in and up. Dome your upper back. Take a breath in for length. Broaden your collarbones. There can be a little look forward, but not too much into the back bend. As you breathe out, curl your spine, drop your head. Lift your shoulder blades as high as they'll go. We'll do it one more time. Breathe in for length. Broaden collarbones. As you breathe out, curl the spine, drop your head. Okay, come to a neutral spine and we're going to extend our left leg out toward the left. So if you need to, you can rise up a little, use some props to stand up a little and you're going to extend left foot out toward the left. Line your left knees up, uh, left toes up, sorry, with your right knee. And then you can come back down onto your hands or you can heighten, like bring the earth up a little bit towards you, use your blocks. Now I want you to think of your left foot, push it down and away, feeling an energetic line up the inseam of your leg all the way up towards your groins. Okay, so you can stay right here or you can tuck your right toes and you can send your hips back a little bit and you can sort of puff up your chest, 
Make it really about less than her thigh, okay? If that means that you stay forward, do that. If it means you're halfway in between, do that. If you even need to come up a little higher, you can do that as well. Okay, from here, I'm going to turn around so you can see better. Your right hand is going to come onto the floor or a block or whatever you're using creatively for your block. Set your right knee underneath your right hip, left hand up toward the sky. Left hand can go here, it can go on your hip, or it's reaching, or you're going to take it over by sit by your ear. Okay, work on this bottom arm, push it down and feel the shoulder supporting a lift through your chest. So watch out for just dumping energy into your shoulder, you want to push down, lift your chest, broaden it, find a reach that feels good. Reaching up and over by sit by your ear is going to give you a lovely extension into the side waist. I can feel a stretch around my rib cage as I breathe, I can feel an expansion here, it feels good. So with the theme of comfort, Bring that in now. Where can you make this feel a little bit more comfortable? Where can you create a bit of space in your body for comfort um, in the future? Okay. Stay with this or you're going to play with balance. Take your weight a little bit more toward the right and float your left foot up off the floor. If you want, you can add in a few pulses, big breath in. And as you breathe out, lift it higher, bring your arm down by your hip. Breathe in to reach and just hover just off the floor or maybe touch it all the way back down. Then breathe out, lift, reach. Last one, take a big breath in. And then breathing out. Good. Come back into this um, reaching position into the side body and then spiral yourself all the way back down toward the floor. Okay, give, give yourself a little reset, sometimes a little roll of your shoulders or a doming of your upper back can feel really nice in between big poses. And we're going to change sides. So this time your right foot is going to come out, align your right toes with your left knee. And again, your blocks or your books or whatever you have nearby if you need to lift yourself up. Okay. This is all about right inner thigh. So check out what your right foot can do to create an experience in your right outer inner thigh. So you might need to play around with the position of your toes. Make sure your foot is not sleepy and it's not doing anything. Really push it down and push it away. Okay. Remember you can go a little higher and then option to walk back a little. So tuck the back toes. You can send your hips back towards your heel, your left heel. Place your hands wherever feels good. Okay, make it about your right inner thigh. Okay, this is a good one to keep in your toolbox for postpartum practice as well. Your legs have got a lot to carry through at labour. Especially if you're choosing an active labour, you're going to be very active, there's a lot to do, a lot to hold on. Okay, come up and then we come into the side plank variation. So I'm going to choose to place my hand on the block again, up to you, where you place that hand. Okay, roll your chest toward square, check out bottom hand, arm, elbow, what are they all doing? Feel your shoulder blade, slide it into place, and if that is not making sense, then try and like just dump energy into the shoulder and really let go and get really sleepy. And then notice how terrible that feels, and then really push away, broaden your chest, and draw your shoulder blade down and in toward your mid back, your mid spine. Okay, so feel that support. Find your reach, right arm, reach up, hand on hip is an option as well, or all the way over. When you go over, you may feel there's a bit more of a curved line. So think of the back, the right foot all the way up to the right fingertips, looking for a curve, like a banana shape. Okay, 
So you can stay with that or you can play with your balance a little. I'm going to walk my left hand a little further away from me just to help the balance. And I'm going to float the right foot up. Now the right foot is really energized. It's not sleepy and floppy. Find a spread of your toes or a point of your toes and find a, a draw upwards of your thigh muscles. Right, keep it energized. Find your reach. Add in a pulse, big breath in. And as you exhale, pulse up. Reach down past your hip. Remember, this is optional. Take a breath in to reach and a breath out to pulse and lift. And we'll do one more. Good. Spiral yourself all the way back down toward the floor, back onto your hands and knees. Give yourself a little sway, a reset. Okay. Child's pose. You can use some height. Widen your knees a little, sink your hips back. You can have forearms on blocks. Okay. You can also reach them a bit further forward. You could put something else underneath for your forehead. You can get really creative. Child's pose, let it be about your hips, about letting your low back relax. And this might be a pose that feels good for labor. So keep that in your toolbox. Or later okay you can be still you can sway you never feel restricted by these poses always make them your own I love to have a little tiny sway sometimes and it might be so small that you might not even notice but I can feel it We're going to come up and come into a low lunge. So use your support to help you rise up. I'm going to take my weight over to the left side and step my right foot forward. Okay, blocks are nearby. Knee and ankle are lined up to begin. And then hands up toward the sky. Hands can stay on front thigh if that feels better. It feels like a little leverage to keep your chest lifted. Watch for dropping baby really far forward. Think about drawing in, like hugging in. And remember, we're never dropping into the real end range of our flexibility. There's so much relaxing in your system to help your ligaments move and open, especially through your pelvis, for a baby to descend down and come into the world. So we want to be mindful of that as we practice. We may feel like we can go a little bit further than we would normally you want to find integrity in these poses by drawing like in a lunge position here where your legs are um, in opposite directions think about them drawing in toward one another so you feel an energy along the inseams of your legs okay so you're still reaching we're going to do an open twist here so take a long breath in as you breathe out hands toward that front thigh and then left hand down onto block book or even onto the floor and take it quite wide. So take it off your mat and then you're gonna lean over toward the left, okay? So right hand is on thigh and it can stay there as you turn your chest toward the right or you can reach up, okay? Now gaze wherever feels good on your neck. Sometimes it feels natural to follow your top fingertips and look all the way up. It doesn't feel so good all the time. Just do whatever feels good. I like to look down toward my front foot or past it, or even maybe look forward. Okay. So this pose, working a bit of rotation through your spine, you're also working to open up your left hip flexor a lot. Place is doing a lot of work supporting baby. Just giving it a chance. Some opening, some release. Let's take another breath in. And as you breathe out, bring your top hand back down. Now, square yourself off, bring yourself back into your low lunge, but have your hands on your blocks. And then you're going to start to lift your front toes, tuck your back toes, and move your front leg towards straight. So I'm saying towards straight, it doesn't have to be straight, okay? So there might still be a bend in your knee. In fact, let's just start at least with a big bend in the knee. Hands are on your support to lengthen your spine and bring your chest forward. Okay, if baby needs a wee bit more space, then move your front foot toward the right a little. You can even have both blocks or support on the inside of the leg. 
Okay, so an option if you're a little further on and you need a bit more space. So calf muscle hamstring stretch on the right hand side. Push down into your right heel and lift your toes up toward the sky. Try and spread your toes. And again, you find, maybe find a tiny sway, a tiny pulse. Okay. Come back onto your knees. Step your left foot forward. So I'm going to take my block over toward the right just to help me step the left foot forward. And then I'm going to come up into the lunge, just starting with knee and ankle, thereabouts aligned, hands toward the sky, shoulders down, space across the collarbone, space on top of the shoulders, drawing baby in. Hands can always rest on baby any time, but here another option for you is hands are up, reaching, spreading through your fingertips, energy through your arms, your hands. Sinking your hips down and forward to whatever degree feels good for you. Okay, we're coming into our twist. Take a big breath in. And as you breathe out, bring your hands down onto front thigh. The right hand onto your block. Take it wide. It can stay high and go to middle. Lean over a little bit to the right. Turn your chest to the left. And then left hand can maybe reach up. And again, find your gaze point that feels good. It feels like comfort through your neck. And then working with the intention of comfort again, so you can relax your face, your jaw, even your shoulders. And even as you energetically reach up, can there be some comfort in that so you're not tensing too much through your fingertips as you reach, but there's an energy rising all the way up. Okay, coming into our hamstring stretch, take another breath in. As you breathe out, unwind. Get your blocks or your support, move your front leg towards straight. I'm sliding my front heel forward just a little with my stance. You might need to do the same. Push into the front heel, lift the toes, spread the toes. Hands onto your blocks to lengthen your spine, draw your chest forward. So a generous bend in the left knee. And then over time, you can move it toward a straighter position. Absolutely does not need to be straight and never locked. Okay. Remember the option of both hands to the inside, left heel a little bit wider. If baby is taking up a wee bit more space now, you can still get your hamstring stretch from here. Okay, the back toes can tuck or they can point, whatever feels best for you. Okay, give it another breath in. And then unwind. Come back onto your knees. Reset if you need to. And then find your way to stand on your knees. So you may need to pad out underneath your knees with a blanket or roll your mat over a little. You can point or tuck your toes. I'm going to leave mine tucked. I feel a little um, buoyancy. I can react a little more with them tucked. Get your hands together in front of your heart. Push your palms firmly together, feel your hands, your arms switch on like there's a circuit of energy in your upper body, it is on. Push your palms together. Now we're going to lean back, I want you to think of a straight line from your knees all the way to the crown of your head. We're going to lean back with that straight line, so drawing baby in on exhale, you maybe even want to lift up pelvic floor as you exhale, now we're going back also on the exhale. Take a breath in. As you exhale, draw in and up pelvic floor, draw baby in, slightly lean back. Inhale, come forward, and exhale, lean back. And then keep going like that. Inhale up, exhale back. Keep going. Exhale is lifting in and up pelvic floor, drawing baby in towards you. And maybe feeling this in the side of your waist and your oblique muscles, working a little bit of core that still needs to be worked. The side, the oblique muscles and the transverse abdominals still need a little bit of work, even though they are growing and expanding elsewhere. Keep going. OK, 
Okay, if you can, you can go back, you can hold for a couple breaths at an angle. Doesn't need to be too far to feel it. And then rise all the way up. Okay. Come onto your seat. I'm going to sit on two blocks. You can sit on that, or pillows, or bolster. We're going to come into a squat position on our support. Okay. So Malasana, a yogi squat, feet are turned out to about 10 and 2 o'clock. You can place your palms interlocked or palms flat together, whatever feels good for you. I want you to think of your elbows on your inner knees, a slight push out, and then push back in with your inner knees. Draw your chest toward your thumbs. Stay here, gaze softly ahead or close your eyes. Just breathe, just be. Now find some comfort in an area that is not doing, it's not involved directly in the pose right now. So your face, your jaw, maybe even through your throat as you're breathing, is there any tension there? Your shoulders, your toes. And then try and find a little bit of comfort in an area that is doing a fair bit of work right now. Do you feel like you're over gripping and really trying or can you just let your body be in this shape? Take another long breath in, sigh it out, relax your face, your jaw as you breathe out. Gently open your eyes, simple twist, so extend your right arm, left hand onto your left knee, turn your chest toward the left. Get comfortable in the side of your waist, lift the centre of your chest, create space, the twist. Change sides, left arm extends, inner knee and elbow are still touching. Right hand to right knee, turn your chest gently toward the right. Okay, unwind. We are coming up to stand. So if there's something nearby you need to hold on to, or someone nearby to hold on to to come up, otherwise you can maybe come back on to your hands and knees and build your foundations to come all the way up. Okay, so hands onto front thigh, tuck your back toes, step on up. Okay. Come to stand on your mat. I'm going to stand to the side, a little easier for you to see. We're going to do eagle pose. Last week on our video we did eagle arms in our lunge, which is this bound of our arms. We're going to add in for the legs. To do, I'll just demonstrate quickly. You're going to bend into one knee and cross the other leg over. Now, this cross doesn't need to be too tight, okay? It might be like so. And you may want to just avoid as well. So you may just want to stand both feet flat, okay? Traditional eagle pose would be quite a tight wrap. Um, and you can see pointing the toes toward the back of the room or the toes go around the standing leg. But again, just keep it quite open. I'll do an open one with you. Reach your arms forward. Take your uh, right arm on top of your left. Bend your elbows, touch palms if you can. Hook your thumb or hold your shoulders. Elbows forward, fingers high. Okay. okay if you're staying here, just stay with it. Soften into your knees. Otherwise, take your right leg across. Okay. I'm going to turn forward so you can see that cross from me. Quite open through inner thighs. Okay. So working your balance, working, steadying, everything that you've got in your toolbox to help you balance is your breath, your gaze, and then energizing whatever you can in your body to help you balance. So even energizing your fingers, so you reach up, drawing your shoulders down, working your left leg. Okay, 
unwind, come to stand, give your shoulders a big roll, take your hands behind you, interlace them, start with your knuckles around about your low back, point your elbows back, puff your chest up without dropping forward, dropping baby forward, okay, so pull in, draw in, stay strong through the side of your waist, okay, so you can keep your elbows bent or you can extend your arms away from you. your arms are extending, work on drawing your shoulder blades close together on your back. You can add in a tiny lift of your chin, but don't drop your head back. Take another breath in, and release. Give your shoulders a little roll. Okay, eagle on the left side, both arms forward, left on top of your right. Bend the elbows, touch palms. Pick your thumb or hold your shoulders again as an option. Stay here, softening your knees. Otherwise, left leg up and over for your cross, okay, if you fall out, you just come right back in and take your time, elbows forward, fingers high, work your balancing toolbox, work through all those items, your gaze, your breath, energising your body, And then release. Good. Give your shoulders a roll. Hands again behind you. Same again. Knuckles into your low back. Elbows back. Baby drawing in. Or extend your hands away from you. Take a huge breath in. And then release out. Shoulders roll. Okay. Come to the top of your mat. Step your right foot back. And then turn your right foot so the uh, pinky toe side edge of your foot lines up with the back of your mat. One or two. Turn your chest toward the side of your mat, reach your arms out, and sink into your front thigh. One or two. You can gaze toward the side of your mat so your neck is neutral with your spine, or you can gaze towards your front hand, adding in a rotation of your cervical spine. Nice deep lunge into the front thigh, feeling power in your legs as they push away from one another. Let your shoulders drop down. And in this pose, we aim to set our shoulders over our hips. There can be a tendency to lean forward. Okay, You're working a little bit too hard for that, so pull yourself back, shoulders over your hips. As you sink down into the front thigh, your body should sink down vertically. Okay. Reverse warrior, front hand open to the sky, back hand onto your hip, reach up. Get into the side of your waist, into the left side, feel an expansion the whole left side of your body. Lean back to whatever degree feels good for you and find a gaze point that feels good. Okay, so comfortable through your neck, comfortable through your face and your jaw. Take another breath in. Rise up. Straighten the front leg. Turn the toes, change sides. Warrior two facing the other way. So you should have the right stance for this. Shoulders again over your hips. Sink into front thigh and let the body drop straight down. Reach out warrior two. Find your gaze. Steady it. Energise your legs in opposite directions. Okay, reverse warrior. Front palm to sky. Back hand onto hip or leg. Reach up. Find your gaze and find your expansion into the right side of your body. So get comfortable in that experience, whatever that means for you. And that might mean coming out. It might mean coming out and releasing. Okay, come up, straighten your front leg, turn your toes, and then start to bring your feet toward one another. When it feels right to step in, you can do so. And then we're going to do chair pose for our last standing balance. So set your feet hip distance, align them with each other. Sink your hips back and down. Reach your arms forward, parallel to the floor, or up at an angle, biceps by your ears. Sink down, chair pose. Okay, so you can stay just down or you can come up. And sink down as you breathe out. So your choice, staying still or a little pulse, up and down. Okay. 
Okay, if you're pulsing, do one more. If you're still in chair pose, rise up, breathe in. Keep your arms up if you can, steady your gaze straight ahead and lift up onto your tiptoes. Lift your heels as high as you can. Draw maybe in towards you, draw your yeah, pelvic floor in and up on your exhale. Good, release down. Okay, we're coming all the way down toward the ground, toward our mat. So however you would like to get there, you may want to use um, your support, one hand down onto the support, other leg can step back, bring yourself down. Okay, come back onto your hands and knees, give your hips a little sway side to side, maybe even a little roll of your pelvis. And we're going to bring our right knee, slide it forward and angle your right shin in so your right heel is toward the midline of your mat. Start to extend your left leg back. Now at this point, you may want to place a block underneath your right hip, okay? Your other block or pillow or anything at all can be in front of you and you can lift up. Okay, so a modification for a pigeon pose. So you may have both hands on the support, you might be on the floor and you might support underneath your sitting bone. You choose. An option to modify this one is a stag leg position, which we've done last week in our video. I'll just demonstrate that one here. As you can see, one leg comes forward almost parallel to the front of your mat and the other leg stags back. Okay, so still working into your hips. Give it another breath in. Come back onto your hands and knees. We'll set up for the second side. So a little sway, a little release. And then left knee comes forward. Settle your left knee behind your left wrist. Walk your right leg back to whatever degree feels good. Use your support to build you up. Lift up through your chest. Remember, stag legs is an option. Get comfortable in your hips or seek out comfort in your hips. It might not be possible. It might be at a real challenge point right now. But notice maybe what is challenging. Where is the challenge point? Is it because you're gripping and holding on? Or is it a real edge that you can work toward? Slowly come forward. Come back onto your hands and knees. Then find your seat again. I'm going to choose to sit on both of my blocks and I'm going to place my knees together. You can sit however feels good for you. Okay. Rest your hands, thighs, baby, one hand heart, one hand baby. Close your eyes, deep in your breath. And just notice how you feel. Relax your jaw, your shoulders, your, all of your face. Don't go with any effort with your breath. Just let it be, just notice it. Um, makes it go. And then let your mind drift toward that word comfort. Do you instantly think about? What is there in your life that you know brings you comfort? And maybe with the word comfort now, you need to maybe interchange. It might be joy. That's the word that's come to mind first for me. What I mean? Uh, comfort means for me is when I can feel like truly me and I don't need to wear any masks. I 
feel good in my body, it feels spacious, open. But those are also things that can spark joy. Who is in your life that you feel truly comfortable around? As you prepare for what is ahead, how could you bring in a little bit more comfort for yourself? And you might not know the answer to that right now, but you might know what does need a little bit more comfort. Maybe let your mind rest on that as well. As you prepare your home, your space, your surroundings, your family, your community, as you prepare everything for the fourth trimester when you're home with baby. What needs to be done there so everything is a little bit more comfortable? And again, you might not know the answer, but your mind might likely drift towards something where you know there's a little bit of work an expectation to reset a conversation to have Let your intuition guide you. Remind yourself that you know enough. You've done enough. And finally, that you are enough. Take a long breath in through your nose. Joyful sighs, you let it go. Blink your eyes open. Okay. From here, you can choose, you can sit a little bit longer in meditation. You can come down to lay on your left side for relaxation, Shavasana. So feel free to pause the video Maybe set yourself a timer, get really comfortable and truly, truly relax. You deserve it. When you're ready to close off your practice, find a comfortable seat. Guide your hands to wherever feels good, to where they feel called to. They can go toward heart center. Heart center for me just represents everything back into balance. Acknowledge that you we're here, wherever here is for you. Acknowledge that you know enough, you've done enough, you are enough. Take a big breath in. Sigh out. And then just bow your head towards your hands, acknowledging your practice. Namaste. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to reach out to me. Um, if you want to join in in the next 
six week block of classes which will all be online you can do them at the comfort of your own home at any time reach out have a lovely evening eat well sleep well see you soon